What's up, boys and girls? This is Scythe477, and welcome back to Darksiders 3. This is part 6. We are continuing our way through the hollows, and we're actually in the catacombs right now. And let me tell you something. There's some pretty tough enemies. There's a new enemy right here. All right. And, uh, well, there's a couple new enemies, but one of them is this one. And let me tell you something. He can block you, and if he hits you, he can take, like, half your health with, like, one hit. <laughs> Or at least a lot. Close to half your health if you're not careful. So you need to dodge. Make sure you lock on so you can dodge properly. Now, you can still dodge even if you're not locked on. It's just, it's much better because then, you know, some, when you dodge if you're locked on and it slows time, that gives you an opportunity to really pummel the shit out of them, you know. And of course, I'm still using, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm using both, you know, Blades of Scorn and and uh, barbs of scorn and um but we did get the other blade obviously now what we need to do is we need to get the two blades there to make three to well open up the uh, way here and that's what we're gonna do right now but we gotta fight some guy we gotta take some people out i know i see the souls flying there don't worry they'll get theirs so i'm waiting i'm just kind of trying to lure one of them i don't want to lure a whole bunch there because i mean more than, uh, especially with this guy and another guy who throws his blade. You know, it's like two's a crowd. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> now these skeletons can be a, a real pain. Alright, like this guy. Yeah, see. And he can block too, you know. So it's like, oh god. And he throws his sword, man. He'll hit you from like, seems like ten yards away. It's hard to get an opening on him. Unless you do something like that. Really get his health down. Although, now, I got lucky because I, I had an opening. But normally you just have to bide your time, you know. So we're, what we're doing is we're clearing out everything over here. The reason why is because we have to come through here at least twice. You know, once right now. And then, um, well, okay, let's say three times because we're coming through it right now. Now, you want to drop down here. There's an archer. You can go ahead and take care of him. Don't worry about the big guy. He's too slow and lumbery that he's not even going to even come close to hitting you. Don't even worry about him. He minds his own business most of the time. Anyways, you want to break open all these sarcophagi. Got a couple of them. They're getting raised from the dead. I don't, I don't know what that was. I don't know what happened. Woo! Uh, see, you can he see him coming along. Now, you got to be careful right here. Not right here. Yeah, you want to break these open. I don't think there's anything over there. But as soon as you turn your back and you start breaking stuff over here, quickly turn around. Or if you have it set to where it's going to show you the arrow where there's enemies, watch out. There's an, ar there's an archer that uh, comes about, so you want to be careful. They're, they're really easy to deal with if you can get close enough to hit them. But the thing is, is that, you know, when you're in a skirmish with, like, you know, 17 skeletons and a couple of those guys with the long blades and then, of course, the guys with the mace or maces or the clubs or whatever they are, the spike clubs. So what you want to do with this guy, you want to lead him over to you. Kind of lead him over. Come on, buddy. Come here. And then pummel him from here. And the reason why is because now you step back here and there. If he goes to swing at you, he's not going to hit you. And it doesn't affect you because you're not at ground level. Now, you do have to be careful because I did make the mistake of doing this once. I beat him. He did. Well, he didn't do that. But he, he was. When he dies, he explodes. And I was standing too close to him. And it killed me. And I was so mad. Right here. I actually died from that, so I had to come through here again and fight everybody again. Anyways, once you get ta done taking care of all these enemies over here, you want to go all the way to the right-hand side first. I don't really think it makes a difference if you go to the right or left, but I went right because I'm going right to left. You can break all the pots and pans and everything like that, and then we want to, of course, get on this pressure pad it only seems like the camera hits me ow get the 
you you knocked me over, you cameraman. Or could be camera woman. I don't know. <laughs> More pots and pans to break up. Ooh. Good old wrath shard. There ain't much here. I walked in here just to see if there's anything in there. Because sometimes, you know, they hide stuff. Yeah, no. Uh, people are going to have to... There's a lot of shards to clean up here. But, I'll tell you what. There's a healing shard. That's a good kind of shard that you want. I only have one, but it doesn't matter because my respite, it does fill up every time. Uh, well, every once in a while. Now... Speaking of skirmishes, or when I was mentioning about a bunch of skeletons all at once and everything like that, well, here we go. Now, first thing you want to do, as you can see I'm running around, I know there's got to be archers around here somewhere. I don't know where they're at yet, but I know. I, I could swear I saw <laughs> an arrow fly by my head. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Turn around. There he is. Oh, I just missed him. I mean, he just missed me. Okay, that's cool. Now, I'm just trying to get some space in between these guys. Because, you know, if I can get them far enough apart, I don't have to worry about getting hit. Too bad. Whoa. And I see. And that's why I don't really want to lock on yet. Not, not in here, because there's so many of these guys. You know, once I get all these bags of bones beaten, then I'll focus on... One or two. Oh my god. I was trying to do one of those flame attacks and it didn't work out. That time it did. Oh god. Wow, I, I was just like running right into him as he stabbed me. See, I hate that flip move he does with that sword. Really annoying. Oh! I should have. Oh, watch it. Don't get hit. I just got. He just missed me again. I wanted to take him out. I'm like, you have to die, dude. I can't be having you shooting me from the corners, because that does take out quite a bit of life. Just take the... Yeah, there you go. Whoa. Oh, see, that was dumb. I, I, you know, I always seem to dodge at the wrong time. Probably because I'm a moron. Like that. It's like, when you see him coming back like that, don't try to attack him. You know... This isn't your typical hack and slash game, you know. I mean, you gotta you gotta be careful and wait for them to make a move while and then dodge and then counter it. But I get impatient, so of course you want to go around and break everything, including all the sarcophagi, and of course you want to step on this pressure plate. <clears throat> now, of course, I could be using my havoc form, but I don't know. I just really haven't seen any point to it. I've got plenty of respite. Two of them, at least. Uh, and then, you know, you'll find healing shards here and there and everything like that. But... Oh, no. Now, watch it now. Cameraman, again? Really? Well, you quit knocking me over. All right, so here's the first blade. Never even break a sweat against yeah, well, I didn't break a sweat, but... Give me a run for my money. But I'm not really that great at the game. That's probably why. This isn't like the first Darksiders. Or even the second. <laughs> I was actually pretty decent at those, you know. Yeah, I got hit here and there, but I don't I don't think I was as bad as I am with this game. Anyways, wanna go all the way back to the top, obviously. And don't forget to get all the uh, glowing objects that might be sitting around. One of them is a uh, oh, I forget what it's called. Something a uh, visage. It's for a lot of souls. You can break it down. You'll see it. Anyways, there's one. Now we want to go to the left hand side. Don't know. Ask me what I'm doing there, standing there like a moron. I could have swore I cut this part out. What am I just standing here for? Oh, am I taking a break? You know, your health isn't uh, improving, so get going. Move it. Not just the camera. Where are you going? Come on now. Thank you. I don't know what I was doing. She must have been just taking a breather. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Same principle here, of course. I'm gonna break all the pots and pans. And then eventually, uh, what are you getting here? Let's see if I get knocked over again. Nope, I move forward. Now this part here, um, it can be difficult. There's a lot of dodging involved, but then again, when isn't there any dodging involved in this, you know? And by the way, if you go through all this, you know, get through this left part. If you die at any time, uh, the enemies that you, you know, had beaten in the main area, you will have to do again. Now, it's not going to take the sword away. You, the sword's going to still be there that you just inputted there. But all the enemies that are within that are going to still be there. Wow, how did I dodge that? That was a, that was a late dodge. And that was a sucky dodge right there. Oh, get the hell out of here. Come on now. Dodge. Dodge. Thank you. Now. Get him. There you go. It just it, Sometimes it just takes some finesse. Now, I'm just taking him out first. Come on. There we go. I don't really know that there was really anything there. Uh, this might have been my second time because I did die at one point. So maybe there might be. I'm sure there was some kind of glowing object. But anyways, you want to come back over here. I want to go through here. And we're going to go ahead and jump up there. And then double jump and charge and jump. A little water over here. You can jump all the way down and not get injured. I don't know what I was thinking. Now here's where this is where I got I got all the way to here. All right, no big deal. A couple of skeletons. These guys are pretty much you know a bunch of wusses. Then I see this guy over in the corner. I'm like, I see you over there. Don't try to hide. Well, he's not really hiding, but... <laughs> Take care of some more skeletons. Just to be on the safe side. Now, he's just standing there. I could... I sh well, Okay, now, yeah. Now, here he goes. I don't... Oh, my God. You really gotta when he's when he turns red like that, you might as well forget it. Don't even try to hit him. Unless you do that, but then of course you want to counter on time. I don't know why I'm not locked on again. Whew! There we go. Now I don't have anything to worry about. Now there you go. Come on, come after me. I don't know why I stopped locking on him. But that took a lot of his health away. Oh. Don't mess with me. There we go. Not too shabby. And you get some adamantine. I don't know if it's adamantine or adamantine, but I've been calling it adamantine starting on this video. <laughs> and also, check this out. Get yourself cast enhancement. You can slot this in your weapon. So you'll be some kind of benefit that's passive. So it's going to automatically apply to it. So anyways, you know what to do here. Jump as high as you can. Smack that sword. And guess what? We got a little bit of a fight. Not too bad, though. I mean, these guys aren't, you know, aren't that bad. But I will say... As you notice that we got our little buddy there. Kind of bugging us because it's not like he's going to help us much. <laughs> and here's me. Sucking ass again. Dodging at the wrong time. Now I have low health. Now I got to use one of my respite. Look, he has like no health. And neither did I, but I don't want to take that chance because I was not going to go through all that crap again. 
So, we got a bit of a puzzle here. Of course, you want to go all the way over here first, because, you know, any glowing object sitting there you want to grab. That goes without saying. Oh, adamantine. What you want to do is you want to go towards the left-hand side. First, you want to grab your buddy. Come here. Come here. All right, here. I'm just going to chuck you on over there. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Go ahead and eat while I go over here. Now, I try to get as close as to this as I can, but I don't want to get too close because i got to run back to that pressure pad. Come on, you can do it. Apparently, that was just enough. I want to run over here as fast as I can. If you look up, you'll see it's turning around. And look, a switch. Well, your buddy blew up. And that is how you open the door. It took me a while to figure out on where to light it because I wasn't lighting it in the right place. I was I was definitely grabbing him and I was having him eat, but I, it wasn't quick enough. You had to do it from way back in the left-hand corner. So I had to come back down here. And like, I saw that. <laughs> so I'm looking like, hmm. hey, what happens if I chuck uh, you at them? Would that do anything? No. No. All I did was <laughs> be mad. Like, you son of a bitch. Actually, that was actually... That's probably the best dodging I've ever done. <laughs> so far. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of cobwebs here. Well, this doesn't take a genius to figure this out. A little tiny mini mini puzzle. I just burn everything because it just feels good to see all that stuff burn up. And plus, look at that. Look at your culture. Uh, culture, yeah. Cluster. <laughs> anyway, step on the pressure plate. And don't worry. I know that opened really fast, but... And, you know, it closes a lot slower. You should be able to get over there. <laughs> Not to worry. And there, look at that. There's a second sword, so that makes three... That makes the third one, because, I mean, the first one was already there. And... Ding! Sweet. I don't know that I had to jump up there and swing the sword, because I'm pretty sure my flames hit that, that switch. So... So, that third sword. Now, it doesn't matter what side you put them in, I don't think. I don't know. I put the right one in the right side because that's where I went first, and then I put the left on the left. But So, the, it'll bring up these arms. No, you cannot jump from here and get up on that. I tried it. It didn't work. I fell all the way to the bottom. Oh, by the way, that little hole down there. Don't forget to go under there, too, because there's, I think there's, a, I think it's some adamantine and something else. I forget what it was. I did that a while ago. All right, so you can see this broken ladder ain't going to do us anything. We don't need no stinking ladders around here anyways. All right, come on now. Oh, of course I got to break that one pot. This part isn't too shabby. Oh, and I think there's a cutscene coming up, so I'll shut my mouth. I'll be right back. Easy. Do you hear it? This is not what we seek. Let us carry on. Wait. The Maker. You owe him nothing. I know. I want him to owe me. Easy, child. Easy. I can lead you to others like you. Humans. Won't that be nice? All right, so uh, you got to be real careful here. Um, you don't want to get too far from them because they will run away, and they have, like, little missiles, whatever they want to call them. I don't know what it is, but uh, definitely want to take care of them real quick. They're not difficult. It's just they can be annoying and everything like that, and I'm sure that we'll find more of them throughout the game. That wouldn't surprise me any. Anyways, I'm going to break everything you can here, of course. I don't know what's really going to give you. I don't even think it gives you anything. Uh, except for, I think there's a small lurcher chunk. Lurcher cluster. Sorry. 
But you want to head all the way up this little embankment and up to the, all the way to the left. You'll see where to jump up. Now, if you look up and to the right, if you're running where I'm running, you can see it up here. You'll see where there's a chain. Oh, I can swing from there. You want to swing to there. But then, and you want to double jump to get to it. You want to turn back around and then swing again. And you want to wait until the last second, then double jump. And then, of course, hold down and you'll jump up. But we are coming to the end of this video. Uh, we will be back in the next video, which will be Darksiders 3 Part 7. Until then, this is Scyther4077 saying take care and cheers so long. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. You can find me on Facebook at hashtag Gameplays4077. Or you can, of course, just look up Let's Play It videos on Facebook. And like I said before, I will be on YouTube shortly under Scyther4077. Hey, but anyways, uh, hey, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.